meet South Africa's youngest author, Hallelujah Kumalo, who has already written two books. My name is Hallelujah Kumalo. I am six years old and I am in grade one. Um, it's called where it's called where I fit, and it is my second book. Um, it's about a puzzle piece who can't figure out where she fits, and at the end of the book, she finds out that she fits with her family in the world, and she fits because she's unique. She is a young lady who is an absolute delight and captured the heart of many. Her book titled Where I Fit was inspired by her life story. She felt she could not fit in anywhere, whether at school, in sports, or with her friends. So I felt like I don't fit in quite a few times. In fact, I think it was every time I started something new. I felt like I don't fit in at tennis. I felt like I don't fit in at Red Hill. I felt like they, that like I don't fit in in ball skills, in play ball, in squirrel, not squirrels because I never went there. Woodpeckers, hedgehogs, bump, busy bees. Are those teams? No, the, those are classes, oh. pre primary classes. I felt like I don't fit in at Rodin. I felt like I don't fit in at horse riding, but I got used to that very, very quickly. I think. Hallelujah's father, Sukona Kumalo, believes her daughter is still growing and developing, yet he sees her as an intelligent individual who is aware and caring. She's a very aware, emotionally aware, intuitive, and as her mum said, uh, a quick learner. Uh, described by recently, she started riding her bike without training wheels. She got the bike on the Tuesday, and by the Friday, she was riding it without, you know, obviously any assistance. It was me holding her seat. But after the first day, I didn't need to hold her seat. So she's very, very quick to learn by applying herself consistently. She sort of becomes focused and obsessive, if I can call it that way, until, uh, if I can say it that way, until she's achieved her goal, or whatever the goal is. This time, the goal was riding a bike. Hallelujah believes her book can change other kids' lives and make them believe that they can fit in anywhere while accepting their uniqueness. I want I've wanted them to know that they fit that they ha, that they have that it's okay to be the same and it's okay to be unique because if everyone was the same let's say we were all my skin tone and we all did the same things we all had the same clothes we all have the same everything and we all took a picture together it would be a boring picture hallelujah's mother theodora kumalo says this was a fun and super exciting project to do she believes supporting her daughter and getting her book published was not how they felt or what they wanted for hallelujah but they made sure everything represented hallelujah's vision for her to feel that we respect her, her process and that we do respect that this is her book and we're here to support you in whatever way we can, but it's, it's, it's your name on it, so you need to stand behind it. And it's a big lesson for a six-year-old, but it's an important lesson, that it's not about anything other than what you feel represents your vision for this book. And it wasn't you know, some, oh, we're going to launch a book and do it. No, this was, as, as my husband said, it was a fun project for us. Um, and we were super excited to do it. And then some days she didn't feel like doing it and we didn't do it. So it has been also a long time coming. It took her a long time to get it done. But it was very important that we give her a book that looks like something that you could find in a bookshop because that's the effort that went into it. And it had to be recognized and it had to be matched, if I can put it that way.
Besides spending time reading or going to ballet classes, Hallelujah enjoys spending time with his siblings. So, um, I like playing with my siblings, um, riding my bicycles with my siblings, going to ballet with my siblings. Okay, the only sibling I go with to ballet is Moya. Even at her tender age, Hallelujah is well aware of what is happening in the world and one day hopes to become an engineer. The one thing that I seriously want to be is an environmental engineer. I want to create a response to the amount of pollution, particularly that, that in which is created by the fashion industry.